Hi everybody, I'm Paul from Geek News Network, and I am here today with Lotus Juice. How you doing, Lotus Juice? Doing great, doing great. Good to be here. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So this has been your second uh, performance at TaiyuCon. How, how has it been uh, compared to the first year, the uh, venue? Uh, last time I came here, I was with Yumi, Sh Yumi uh, Hirata, mm -hmm. and no, 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 Yumi Kamura, and Shihoko Hirata. And uh, we were performing Persona songs mainly, and I did my solo show the next day. So I'm alone here, but um, it's great. It's the, the people out here is just so great. Um, I love Arizona just because of Tayoga. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, excellent, excellent. Definitely. So in this uh, in this last performance, you got to do a lot more of your uh, solo albums and stuff. I did a lot of uh, anime music, persona songs. Okay. I did a couple of my, my joint from my second album. Mm -hmm. New songs, including uh, songs that I did for this um, this radio show hosted by uh, Tomoka Sugita, oh. the voice actor in Japan. Yeah, um, yeah so um, a lot of varieties and then, um, yeah, I hope people liked it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they did. <laughs> Yeah. Look like it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's uh, another thing I wanted to ask you is um, you you've been in Japan for a while, but you also grew up in the U.S. when you were younger. Yes, I did. Um, what are some of the things that um, stand out to you in the two cultures? Some of the things well, you really um, like between them. Stand out. I mean, I knew the best of both worlds. You know yeah. what I mean. So I try to take that and mix it into my own um, preferences, I guess, and. Um, well, I speak English, and I speak Japanese, so um, mix of both. And um, I don't know what stands out. Um, it's like, well, I can see two perspectives. I, 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 I got two perspectives. Like the way mm -hmm. there's a, I don't know, when there's an issue, I can see it from the Japanese point of view. And see from from the American point of view. So right, right. so I'm always like open to um, the way of thinking. So yeah. that kind of like broadens my my views, I guess. Yeah. That's that's really good. It, like a lot of people don't get to have that experience living so long in two different places. Oh, that's guess, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, how did you get into the Persona series? Oh yeah. Um, this is kind of funny because it's kind of a coincidence. Um, Mr. Shoji Meguro, um, he's the composer for Persona series, and uh, he was looking for an English rapper, and um, it turns out that he was asking somebody else first, but he got turned down. He didn't tell me who it was, though, hmm. and um, I was actually having a trip back to New Jersey to see my friends for like a week, and then my friend calls me up telling me that this this company called Atlas and this composer named Meguro is looking for English rapper. And I'm like, all right, let me hear the beats first. And I'll think about that. The beat he sent me was mass destructions track. And it was so amazing. Like I've never made a track with, um, raw grimy, but not hip hop. Like it's, it's mix of, rock and hip hop and I guess I guess mu uh, game music as Just well a little bit different from yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so I got very excited yeah and uh, actually it's burn my dread last battle and um, I go into the studio and the lyrics were written and I was like all right so the lyrics are written I don't think I want to do it. <laughs> it's a little constricting <laughs> yeah and but I told Matt, um I talked to him and he was like, I'm sorry, uh, we, we've never worked with a hip hop artist before. So we have the written lyrics, but we don't, um, it's not a necessity for you to rap that lyric. We want you to write it or fix it or whatever you want to do. So they, they basically gave me like um, a very open, open minded solution. And I fixed it, I wrote it. Um, so, um, I only had like 30 minutes to write. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so I had to fix the, the lyrics that they gave me. Mm -hmm. So I told them, don't write my, my name on it. So if you look at Burn My Dread Last Battle, or Master Shosham, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, whichever, the um, 
my name is not on it. I just performed it, but it's not my lyrics. So I was like, just don't post my, my name on it. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. But uh, he loved my work. So ever since then, he kept on calling me. So that's how I kind of roll into this big issue, like like big, yeah. Wow, uh, that's really something. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so you you spent so much time with the Persona series and stuff, like doing tracks on just about everything, you know, like the the different games, the uh, the anime and stuff. Uh, do you have a favorite Persona out of the four? Um, to be honest, I haven't played one and two. Because okay. it was so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually called Mr. Megara and complained. I was like, this game's too hard. But P3, P4, I love them both. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great game. I was looking for other games just like Persona, but I can't find something like but, that. Yeah, they're never quite the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the director, uh, Mr. Hashino, mm -hmm. he's just amazing game creator. Mm -hmm. Like the games that he makes, it's just his one and only game and yeah. nobody can copy that I, I think the thing that really stands out to me in the persona series i haven't played too much of it but like there's in the aesthetics there's always a certain suaveness to it you know a certain coolness and yeah. stuff and i i think your music helps that a lot cool. personally cool. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um so i guess just one last question what are your plans for the future my plans for the future i am gonna be attending aod next month um I've been asked to perform in Atlanta in May, I think. I'm going to do my solo show. I uh, think I'm going to be on a tour. July, I think. And working on new tracks every day. So hopefully I can release my third album this year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure we're all, we're all looking forward to it, all your fans. And, oh, I'm yeah. going to work with uh, Megaran as well. Really? Yeah, um... We actually collabed yesterday, and um, he he tweeted me, he mailed me directly, um, asking for collaboration this time. And I was like, all right. Um, to be honest, I don't freestyle, so and he's amazing. So I proposed this idea that um, I got some beats perfect for him. So why don't we collab on that? Kick sixteen bars on it, come up with a hook. And then um, play my next track, and he could just freestyle over it. And he loved my tracks. Oh my god! So, but it, but it's funny. Um, there's this uh, there's this app from Native Instrument, um, iMachine Two. Okay. Yeah, and um, you can just make it on your phone. Mm, wow. And and I made both of those beats, both of those beats, on the train. I really got like in the zone and, like, and started yeah. like and I was actually doing this on the train <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing but I came up with a good track so he loved it um, he's he said he's going to come to Japan as well so hopefully we could collab excellent, yeah. excellent sweet so uh, Lotus Juice fans and Megaran fans look forward to that alright that's all the questions I have for you so cool alright thank, thank you thank you very much no thank you great